Good evening, morning, afternoon, freaks and geeks. This is Cass, and this is my second Skylander box opening. Uh, this time I'm just going to release it in one video. So, today I got Skylander Superchargers. I'm a bit late on the uh, whole, like, bandwagon about it. Because I thought it was coming out in October. You know, like the other ones did. So, without further ado, I got the Dark Edition, obviously. Oh, and I don't have as much as I did last time, but that's fine. So, let's open this bad boy up. And I will be doing some kind of reviews. Because, as you can tell before, I am a huge fan of figure scans. I fail at opening boxes. There we go. So, the figures don't slide out with it, that's a little annoying. Poster's not in the CD case this time. I like the cover. Oh, I think I see the poster. I also note there's no stickers. And also, they did away with the cards, which is kind of upsetting to me. And here's the portal. It's kind of nifty. I like, I like how they are uh, designing the portals like differently for each game. That's kind of cool. And it has a spot for the traps. However, you cannot use the villains in the game. Instead, what they do is uh, they just give the power up to the vehicle. So there's that, and I'm also glad that it's a plug-in. Having to change batteries in the middle of game is annoying. What is this? No, seriously, what is this? I know everyone's commenting in the comments of... Oh, I am wrong. Battlecast. Use these cards to bring your Skylanders to life in a whole new way. Download the free Skylanders Battlecast app. I think I'm going to try that. And they do come with cards. It's like an actual card game. Enchanted Stealth Elf has enchanted blades. Get plus 20 attack until the end of your next turn. Spitfire has Nitro Blast. Deal 40 damage to the active enemy. This is cool. Do they have these cards with all the uh, Skylanders? I want to know that. I mean, they didn't give one for Donkey Kong, but I'm glad they gave me Stealth Elf. So, that is actually really awesome. I like that they did that. Instructions, I don't need that. And now for the poster. I don't need this either. This is definitely something I want to talk about. Well, you got this up. You're probably not going to see all of it. But, I've done a little bit of research. I am going to post a, act, a really good good quality picture of the poster. Like, I'm going to put it up on screen right now. But, 
they don't have as many Skylanders as they used to. They have one for each element. I noticed they have the dark colors up here, the dark variants up here too. I didn't get the dark sea shadow, but I think I might just get the normal one, because I actually like the purple on it. It actually gives it character. Um, but they have two Skylanders per element, except for light and dark. Um, each Skylander is a uh, supercharger. So it looks like all of them have this special ability for this game, which I also like. And each Skylander has their own vehicle. Now, there are ups and downs with how they did this. For one, if you've seen my other videos, you know that we, my family, picks out a Skylander for each element. And then that's their Skylander on their team. Uh, yeah. So this time, it's going to be one for each uh, vehicle type, like one land, one air, and one sea. So we're going to do it that way. Now, I'm going to go on to opening the figures. Open up the dark edition first. and keep this. I might. I'll think on that. Showcase some Skylanders in there. That would be cool. However, I'm not going to stick them on this because I don't know if I'm going to showcase these kind of Skylanders. First, let's get out the new Skylander. Fire. Oh my god. Now I don't know if I'm gonna... Yeah, I'm not gonna edit this out because it's funny. Come on! any scissors near me either. There we go. Alright, as you can see, they all are sitting on an engine. So, we usually deter call it by the color on the base. So now these guys are going to be bronze, even though he's sitting on a silver one, which is kind of cool. And I thought his car was going to have bigger wheels. Hold on, let me check the poster. So I swear. They do look big on the poster. I'm betting it's a uh, optical illusion. Like the uh, blue against the other colors make it pop out more. All right, now. DK. Now, this is one thing I wanna talk about in review. And I'm actually going to be like reviewing it while I play. But this is, for those who don't know and is confused about what's going on, this is an amiibo. I doubt that no one knows what an amiibo is. However, this, this is the kind of gameplay I like doing, figure scans. I'm a collector. I like collecting figures. And this is perfect. Uh, the other guys, even if uh, like later on, like say... Uh, they can no longer support Swap Force characters. I still have the figures and I can still play them on the other games if I so choose. But also I can display them. So, 
and he can switch. There's a little, I know you're not going to be able to see it, but you can see the little slit, but it says Skylanders and Amiibo, and you twist it to tell the program that you're scanning this into Skylanders. And then you switch it back and tell it you're going to be using it in Super Smash Brothers, which I am going to do. I will do a let's play on playing Donkey uh, or playing against Donkey Kong in Super Smash Brothers. And he has his Barrel Barrage, I think it's called. But anyway, the cool thing, the cars actually, the wheels actually spin. Now, I'm usually good at guessing where the chips are, because with Skylanders, it's directly in their base. It's all about the base, about the base. No downloads. I'm guessing it's where the symbol is. This is a tech, which makes sense, and this one's a fire. Wait, his vehicle's a tech and not a life? Because he's a life element. And his vehicle's a tech element. That's weird. Anyway. On to... Main reason why I got the Dark Edition. Instead of Adventure Packs, it seems you get trophies. Which unlocks a racing course. Which I'm actually excited to do. Ooh. This one's a Chaos Element, apparently. So, I will be... This time... I am going to do a let's play for the whole game. I might even do the uh, special tracks. So, I have other let's plays, but my hard drive at this point is still locked, so I can't access those. However, I will upload them once I'm able to. Uh, I am currently in the middle of doing a Nuzlocke type thing with my elites there. So, I like the variants. It is mainly because it's the rare color. I'm not thinking about like, oh, it's going to be uh, worth more in the future. And of course, I'm going to get a sticker for it. Um, I usually scan in the stickers, except this little uh, poster of ones I have, so I might. What I'm thinking, though, well, since on the poster they're next to each other. But also my, um... Photoshop my own cards, unless I can actually play, uh, unless they actually come with those. But what I'm thinking of is uh, just having Skylander with their vehicle, instead of taking up two slots. Then I would just like include their vehicle stamp with, or sticker with it. I don't know, I'm just rambling now. And then Sea Shadow, which has no movable parts on it. Which is fine. I like how the vehicles do not have base. And oh my god, this thing is too cool. You're going to see me use this a lot. Alright. That's enough of the opening. Now, I'm going to get right to the game. I'm including that in the, uh, the description too. Um, so like I said, I'm going to record playing, um, my kids might play now and then, I will, on the, uh, on the thumbnail, I'm going to 
put the, uh, my kids' uh, portraits up there on the games that they join. Um, so, enough of me ranting. Let's play the game. It around. So what I should do, I will do. So if you click on copy, it'll create a I'll copy of it. Playing. Obviously. Welcome to Geeky Party. Let's go. Now the mirror axis is what is the position that's going to be flipping at. 